This read aloud with Mrs. V is called A Little Spot of Patience. A Little Spot of Patience, a story about how to enjoy waiting. Written and illustrated by Diane Alber. The author has given us permission to record this read aloud. Hi, we are Patience Spots. We are here to help you when you have to wait. We all know that waiting is not easy. Everyone has a patience spot and you want it to grow as big as possible. So it's important that you train it every day. The bigger it becomes, the better you'll be at waiting. You might even enjoy it too. You can make waiting fun? How can you do that? There are a lot of situations that require patience. Some things you may only wait a minute for, and some things you might need to wait years for, like that big apple tree. That's why it's good to start training your patience spot right away, so you can enjoy all the times you have to wait. In fact, I make myself wait when I don't even have to. Try to not eat those donuts right away. The longer you make yourself wait, the bigger your patience spot grows. Doesn't it seem like the donuts taste better than usual? It's because you just grew your patience spot. Now, the next time you have to wait, it will be a little easier because you can see how waiting actually makes you enjoy things a little more. Puzzles are a great way to help train your patience spot. In order to solve a puzzle, you must think a lot and you can't rush things. Thinking things through and problem solving helps grow your patience spot. Coloring is another great way to train your patience spot. It helps your mind focus on something other than waiting. Creating any type of art can help train your patience spot. When using paint or glue, you have to wait until it dries to touch it. While you wait, play a game to pass the time. Did you know baking and cooking can help train your patience spot? Certain foods need time to cook before you eat them. So while you're waiting, play some music and have a dance party. This will make the time pass so much faster. You can also train your patience spot by taking some time to make good choices instead of rushing. It might be cold. What should I wear? Another way to train your patient spot is by listening. When you're waiting to ask a question, try to listen to what the other kids are asking. You might learn something new. Taking turns is a great way to train your patient spot. When you're waiting to use something, Watch what someone else is doing. You might learn a new technique. Sometimes training your patient spot is all about how you look at a situation. It can be frustrating when you can't open your presents right away, but you could use that time to hang out with your friends longer. Car rides can seem like time moves so slowly, right? While you wait, try reading a book or enjoying the scenery. You will spend a lot of time training your patient spot in lines. Lines at the doctor's office, lines getting ice cream, or lines at the playground. Try saying hello and making a new friend. Great conversation can make waiting so much fun. Hi, what's your name? Sometimes, Waiting in line may seem boring. When you are bored, it can make you feel irritated. But did you know you're choosing to be bored? Instead, choose to find your peaceful spot. Or choose to be creative. I have a little trick that is so much fun. Repeat after me. Don't look at patience as a daunting chore. Look at patience as a chance to explore. When you have to wait, just look around. Can you find a spot or something round? A tire, a ball, or an eye with a dot. This will help your grow your patience spot. Okay, 
Your patient spot is ready to grow. How will you train it? I made this fun scavenger hunt of questions to help you. You can find the scavenger hunt in Miss V's slides.